Howdy folks, this video is on giving pills to a duck when you need to give a duck medicine. Uh, we have a duck, that one there, who was recently diagnosed with some kind of respiratory infection, we think, and so we have had to give her medicine, and my first recommendation on how to give a duck uh, any kind of pill is to sneak it into food which is sometimes difficult, especially if it's a big pill. So if you sometimes will get a pill that's been divided into quarters, it's very small, you could foreseeably put one of those inside of a pea and just have them eat the pea. So you could try that. I would try that, maybe put a bigger one inside of like a bug of some kind. Like we have huge grasshoppers right now, so you could disassemble and then reassemble a grasshopper with a pill inside it. I, a piece of watermelon would actually be not a bad idea. So that's my first recommendation, is to sneak the medicine into some kind of pleasant experience. Our duck, however, has since learned that some of these treats contain not-so-fun-to-eat uh, pills. And so this is our setup for when we are going to pill this duck. And uh, what we have are our medicines here. We have a little cup of water for her to take sips from and um, just a flat space, a little bit of open area to work in. You want that duck on its own. That's the first really annoying lesson you're going to learn is you and that duck should not be interrupted by other ducks, especially if that medicine is inside treats because the other ducks are going to go for them and then the last thing you want is another duck eating the sick duck's medicine. So... Uh, just you and the duck. That's the ideal. Another person helping you makes it ten times easier. Although I will show you the technique for one person to do it on their own. Um, really quick note, different kinds of pills. So we have a couple different capsules here. Uh, sorry. Two that are not capsules. Um, I forget what you call that. That, that type that will just turn into a powder. Um, those are usually smaller, usually easier to do this with. The capsules, on the other hand... A word of caution, they will start to dissolve very quickly when they get wet, so you have to move very quickly to get it down their throat before it starts to stick to their throat. Um, we've learned that the hard way. So if you put one of these capsules in and it doesn't slide down all the way, or it's been gotten wet and it's now tacky and sticky, it can stick in their throat and drive them crazy. Um, highly recommend that's a big help of why this is here in between pills give them a sip of water and it lubricates their throat with some water um, or if it's if all you have is one pill and it's this one just have them take a sip first and then after every pill they take have a big sip of water to help it continue going down so the technique is I'm gonna try and selfie this blind so my apologies if I don't get everything um, the duck is right between your legs. If you either kneel like this, or if you kind of put your feet like this, I prefer the kneel because that way I can adjust my height if, uh, if I need to push the duck back. Um, and so the duck is going to just kind of be coddled between your legs. One hand, uh, my left hand, you'll see, is going to hold the duck's head. And the technique for opening the mouth is to use my middle and thumb finger just on their bottom jaw and like gently push it open. It's almost like cracking an egg one-handed. Like part of your fingers are going to help that jaw open. Your other hand, my right hand, is going to be taking pills and then escorting them down the throat. And so with that procedure, what we're doing is we're aiming for in the mouth to the side. So if this is a duck bill, we're kind of shooting for like this region. Uh, if I'm going with the left side. Their air hole, which you'll see as we do the demo, we're going to show you the air hole, is right in the middle of their mouth, behind the tongue, on the bottom. And so if you're pushing a pill back and you go straight in, you run the risk of pushing it into their windpipe. I, I wouldn't recommend that. I would go off to the side. So think like corner of their mouth, and then you're just going to slowly but surely continue pushing until you feel there's like kind of like a hump. They're going to use their tongue to try and stop the pill. You're going to push it past that point, and you'll feel it kind of like give, and it'll go down, and that's it. Um, something you'll also see in the demonstration that we're about to do is at the end, if you're worried, you can open their mouth, 
pull their tongue back a little bit and actually see down into their throat to see if any pills are stuck or to see if anything got into their airway and then you can act accordingly. I'm also going to contain a link for what to do if a duck has something stuck in their throat. Often the solution is just to push it down continuing into their throat. If it's stuck in their airway, um, have tweezers nearby maybe the first time you try this or two so that you can actually manually pull something out of their airway. It's going to be a really intense few seconds if that's what you're going to have to do. Um, but again, as you as you get used to this process, you're going to get so much better at it. Um, and with that, I will conclude by reminding you that to pill a duck is a very technically demanding few moments and emotionally tense if you're like me because this medicine is hopefully going to save your pet's life. And uh, if you do anything wrong, you're going to feel really bad about it. I just want to tell you, you're okay. Your best is good enough. It's all you can do. You can just do your best. So if things don't work perfectly the first time, if your capsule bursts open and there's powder everywhere and they get half of it in their mouth, it's better than nothing, okay? Um, you know, if you lose a pill, there, there can be more pills. Call your vet. Um, don't take it too hard on yourself, all right? It's a learning process. You got this. Uh, and here's the demonstration to finish off the video. Okay, so I'm gonna try and not actually lean on her, but just have her right there. Got my pills nearby, got my water. Come on, dear. You're okay. Okay, grabbing, opening the mouth with this hand. Okay, pill one. And I'm gonna just put that to the side of her tongue. I'm gonna start pushing until I feel it slide. This is the uncomfortable part for her. And uh, there we go. Okay, now, quick sip of water. Good girl, good girl, one down. Keep going here. All right, second pill. I think the faster you go through them, the better. Just doesn't uh, spread it out. Same thing, a little bit off to the side, gentle, but a definite shove down. A little bit of water. Come on, dear. A little bit of water. Good girl. And the big one. This is the one you want to move fast for if you have a capsule that dissolves. Okay, come on, bird. Mouth open. There you go. Okay, last one. Shazam! Come on, baby. Come on. You gotta struggle through that with them. If they start to put up a fight, just commit. It's for the best. Now it's really uncomfortable for them and for you. Come on, babe. A little bit. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And then, if you want to, you can check to see if everything is down and in the right tube. We're gonna see if we can see that airway. She ooh, will not like this, so we won't pressure her, but We'll just see if we can get a glimpse of the airway, which if you look right down the gullet, past the tongue, you should see a little opening there, yeah. So that's the airway, that's what that's gonna look like. So that's why we go to the side with the pills. And that was a very good job. Good job, lady. So best of luck, that's the technique. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Hopefully that was clear and helpful.